Hey, Spuddies, Potato McWhiskey here, and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization VI as Germany. Now, where we left off, well, not a whole lot was happening as usual. We're kind of just easily going through the game. We're making our way along, not running into too many big problems. We're going to be chopping out some forests and stuff like that. Now, I would like you to show me the best production, and we'll scroll whoop, up to the top here. Now, out of curiosity, could I find... Was I just blind, or was Hattusa not in the list? No, Hattusa wasn't on the list because I had it set to production. Ah, that makes sense now. So, uh, I'll continue the trade with Magdeburg. Repeat that route. We do have a few more trade routes to make, but that's okay. So it was, wasn't anything to do with me needing to scout them or anything. It was just me having it set to the wrong thing. Hey, that's good information to have, though. Uh, if, for, if you're wondering what I'm talking about, I was trying to send a trade route from Dortmund and I couldn't figure out why I couldn't say it, send it to Hattusa. But it's because I had the because I had the trade route filter set to production and there was no production with the trade route to Hattusa. So that explains that. Unit needs orders here. Yep, we will chop this. That'll get me that monument in one turn, even though it was already getting in one turn. Then we are going to... Aha, okay, so you could actually use an aqueduct. So why don't you finish that aqueduct? And you built this here. Um, what other districts am I considering building in here? Well, I'm almost certainly going to be getting a harbor. And potentially an entertainment square. Or do I just, like, ignore those sorts of things and go straight for other stuff I'll probably just ignore that we'll see we'll see what we do we'll, con we'll consider everything equally and in presence well I mean I guess I am working two fish tiles so it would be worth it to build a harbor in here to improve those and there are some nice there is a couple of nice coastal tiles in here as well we'll consider the harbor let's see uh, why don't you head over this way and see if we can get this mine up and we'll go into our next turn All right, we've got our first settler finishing. This will probably make this settler more expensive once he's finished because of the way it works. Ah, joint war with Peter. I'm nowhere near Peter. I really feel like the AI needs some major overhauls from a fundamental level. I feel like the AI just does not make smart decisions. Um, whatever the metric is that they're using to tell the AI what's a smart decision, like Russia is pretty clearly too far away from me for me to consider going to war with him. If you consider the fact that I don't have a navy. So really, Scythia should be Scythia should be able to look at my army and say, Okay, this guy doesn't have a navy. He's probably not going to go to war with Russia. So we finished the settler. Let's get our harbor up. The harbor is all important because A, it's going to give us production for trade routes sent to Achen. And B, it's going to improve this city's ability to grow. Because it's, it's working at least three, four, if you count this. Uh, three tiles in the in the ocean and getting the harbor the lighthouse uh, and so on and so forth will make this a much more viable much more viable city in the long term okay so we built a workshop here now the question is do we go ahead yeah you know what? I, I'm, I'm really considering doing a campus research grant here to try and just squeak out Albert Einstein ahead of him Let's go ahead and pick up the market. Yeah. Market aqueduct was completed, so we have plenty of housing. Yep, let's pick up the markets. We want lots of gold. Similarly, over here, we built the water mill, which was a nice little production boost. Let's go ahead and grab the workshop. I think I will throw down my campus here. And then I will go ahead and grab my workshop. We'll stick a mine down there. That'll make that a viable little tile for this city. We'll go into our next turn. Uh, yeah, let's trade with Hamburg. Go ahead and get the food and production. Nice spread. We will improve the pasture. That'll make this a really workable tile. Three food, three production. God damn, that's really nice, actually. Plains, pasture, sheep. Three food, three production in the mid game. Really, really worthy tile. Okay, so you want to trade. I already have truffles, don't I? 
Or did I never improve my truffles? Oh, maybe I never improved my truffles. Oh. Whoops, I hope I have a builder charge laying around. I do. I do have a build of charge laying around. Excellent. We can be saved. I accidentally just punched my computer because I was trying to like, I was like, we can be saved. I was trying to be like dramatic and I accidentally hit myself. <laughs> okay. Grants the ability to construct an additional spy. We will be building that spy. So let's go ahead into um, Nuremberg, I think. Yeah, this is a good city to build it in. It'll take nine turns, but I think... We're going to make judicious use of spies here. Well, actually, I kind of really want as many envoys as I can get. Hmm. Hmm. I also, I need to find Sumeria. So you need to be upgraded and then go look for him. Will you establish a resident embassy? Does that show me where you are on the map? Ah, okay, I found him. So let's grab a spy then. And we'll be able to send that spy over there and pick up any scientific boost that he has that we don't. So you are going to head here and get these online. So that's another amenity. And I think I'll just send you up to preemptively get the jade. We are building the Angkor Wat. Now, it is a faith wonder, and we don't really care about faith. I mean, we might be able to spend our faith throughout the whole game on, like, one great person getting it, like, a little bit quicker. Oh, yes, Adam Smith. I'm really excited for this. We're about to get Adam Smith, who uh, is going to give us extremely useful boosts, primarily an extra um, economic policy slot. Let's recruit Adam Smith, Adam Smythe, and we will put him in here. Plus one economic policy slot. And then we will be taking the... Well, let's see. Plus two gold for trade routes is really nice. 100% commercial hub adjacency bonus is really nice. Uh, I think I like the plus two gold. Mm, I think I like the plus two gold here. I could alternatively move one of these up and then just pick something, anything else that I want, like 50% production towards spies while I'm building a spy in there. That would be pretty good. Um, for example... Yeah, it's either, it's either I go for some gold or I go for some production. I think I'll go for the gold. Uh, you know, actually, this is this is actually really worth worth a lot. So I'm going to keep it on Machiavellianism for now. So I can get these spies up and start stealing nice and quick. Okay, we built our campus. Let's go ahead and get the library up nice and quick. Get the horseman over here to scout for the settler. I'm really surprised that France hasn't like continued to settle. Uh, no, I don't want horses. Don't you waggle your hand at me with disdain, Mr. Russia. Like, look at all this land up here. France could easily settle. I think the AI is just dumb. <laughs> just can't find its way around. Oh, well. Okay, there's square rigging. Plus one movement for embarked units. Very nice. Try to make your way over there. Okay, we got our harbor in here. Let's purchase the lighthouse to save a bit of time. And then that should skyrocket the food. That should have been more. Yeah, 28 food. That's more like it. Primarily also housing is really nice. And by purchasing that, we can grow really fast and then go straight into making an encampment, which will make it this the destination for trade routes. Which I'm excited for. Let's have a look over here. Yep, we got our little guy over this way. We'll move you up this way. Next turn. A couple of turns until this settler comes out. One turn, in fact. A couple of turns. One turn. I'm a bit of a liar there. All right, let's stick down a mine. We'll go into our next turn. Let's see. Campus Research Grant.
Goodbye. Right, we've got our settler. You come up this way. To there. Excellent, excellent. And then you're going to go just over this way a little bit. So, skip your turn. We'll go ahead and choose production in here again. Uh, what was I going to do? Mm. I think it's actually worth it to get a water mill here. A little bit of production over the course of the game isn't so bad. I'll probably only get like 70 production out of it, but it's fine. So, let's also grab our bank. More gold, please. We're about to get humanism. Do I really want humanism first? Do I have an option? No, I guess I have to get humanism before I get the enlightenment. Don't really have an option here. I want these envoys. But I also want to get up here as fast as possible. Okay, so you've basically built all of the things that you can build, right? Yes. That is an accurate statement. So... Traders. Let's see, market, library, university, please. I'm trying to, I'm really trying to get this. This would be so amazing if I could grab that. Because. Trade with Achen, because Achen's going to be the destination. Five, five production internal trade routes are a crazy. Please wait. Peter has finished building the Wonder Hermitage. Hmm. I have a sneaking suspicion that this crossbowman, okay? I have a sneaking suspicion that this crossbowman is going to stand on this tile. Okay? We're testing this. I have preemptively set my settler to head over here. I've put my horseman near this tile so I can scout it. This crossbowman is going to somehow know that I'm moving here with this settler. I'm going to get the horseman out of the way so that he has he has choices. If he's heading home, he'll go to the left. But if he knows where I want to go, he'll go to the right. So his pathway is open to go home if he's heading home. But if he knows where I'm trying to settle, he's going to go park a unit on it. I don't like that the AI knows where my units are going and then it uses that fact that it knows where my units are going. I, I, I don't like that idea. I think it's... I think it's reminiscent of the old way that people did AI in like the 90s and stuff. Where the AI cheated, it knew everything and all they were trying to do is make it like look like it didn't know everything. Okay, so the AI wasn't trying to screw me now what if will it do it again next turn is the curious question so here is a shipyard venetian arsenal choose production here uh okay we built a university in here very 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 happy about that we could go ahead and pick up a harbor not a whole lot of tiles in here that'll worthwhile working for the city's harbor so we'll probably skip a harbor in magdeburg and instead, maybe we'll go, like, Entertainment Complex. Uh, or something like that. Pick up a few extra amenities. Sure, why not? But let's uh, let's go ahead and pick up some of these buildings. For example, the Workshop. Seems like a worthy building. Factory and a Workshop in this district. Factories provide plus two production. I'll probably use that in... In, in Magdeburg, actually. So let's just go for an um, uh, armory. I'll put a pin here. To remind me. Grr. I have to finish the pin first. Great engineer factory. Whatever. I'll know what it means. I didn't get the full word in, but... More traders. Let's have a look here. Campus research grants completed. That should have skyrocketed me ahead now. Yes, excellent. Okay, so I'm ahead of him. So we have a few choices in here as well. I think we go ahead and grab some traders. Let's see, workshop completed in here. 
Get that compass up. Right here is where I want to settle. Now, are you going to go home, Crossbone, or are you going to try and steal where I want to stand? I've seen the I've seen the AI do it too many times to where I don't think it, I, I think it, I don't I, I have a hard time believing it's an accident. Basically, is what I'm trying to say. Ah, look, haha, proof. I have proved it. He is. He could have gone here if he was heading up north. He could have gone right there. He knew I was trying to settle here, and he chose to block me. What if I move right beside him? What does he do? Ha! I caught you out, Firaxis, with your dirty lies. Okay, so I'm gonna pick up... I think I'll pick up the shipyard in here, right? Is that, is that a reasonable move? Four production? Not a bad amount. Oh wow, I could build the Venetian arsenal. Tempting, tempting. Let's go for a barracks first. We'll settle here, in Berlin. Berlin's gonna need some love. But everyone loves Berlin anyway, so... Uh, so... Yes, right there. Plus two as a baseline. So we'll lock in the price of that Hansa. And then I'll want the commercial hub to go here. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and grab the water mill for the production and food. We'll go into the next turn. Thankfully, I'm finishing some trade routes. So I'll be able to plonk a trade route over in Berlin. So what is this? What is this crossbowman going to do? Your people settle too close. You should consider seeking land elsewhere. You should consider getting a new hat because your fashion designer is... Uh, Awful. My god. Your people settled too close. I apologies. I will look elsewhere. I'm not going to look elsewhere. Ah! So I, I, so, I feel like... I don't know if that's like conclusively proves that the AI knows where you're going to try and settle. And looks at your unit movements. But I feel like it's at least circumstantial evidence that it's true. So I need somewhere where I can also get a commercial hub adjacent. So right here. And then the commercial hub can go right here. Skidoosh. Then you may as well go granary first. Or aqueduct. Probably granary into aqueduct. We'll see about what we can do. Ah! Let me click there. Unit needs orders. Right, excellent. Let's move this trader over to Regensburg. And then we will move this trader over to Berlin. Now, you are going to pick me up. Some builders to send up to those fine cities. You're going to grab me a shipyard because there's a decent chunk of production on it. And you're... Ideally going to be able to be more spies, but we don't have any more spies. So, let's see here. We have a commercial hub, we have a campus, and we have a Hansa. What could we build next? Well, we get an encampment all the way over there. We could get an entertainment district. Not really a whole lot of things we could do in this city. I think an entertainment district would be, like, one of the better things to do. I could also pick up a theater square just for the culture. Or I could drop a holy site here and just be able to actually spread a religion if I wanted to. Like, Eastern Orthodoxy. I mean, this religion doesn't really do a whole lot other than generate some faith. And I mean, a little bit of faith generation, I, I could get some value out of that by buying great people. A few turns so sooner than I would normally get them. Mm, but it wouldn't really do anything for me. Long term. I would probably be better served by a theater square.
right there. Be plus one culture would give me a decent chunk of culture. Most of my culture is being taken care of, though, by the meritocracy policy. So I'm not even worried about that, to be honest. I might even just be better off um, spamming out builders or even settlers to go up here. I'll tell you what. I'll grab an entertainment district. Just for the extra two amenities from the entertainment district and then the arena. I have two envoys that I want to spend. I don't quite have what it takes to do that yet. Oh, I didn't mean to click on Divine Right. Enlightenment. I want to get to the Enlightenment as soon as possible. I will be picking up Naval Tradition later because there's an envoy on it. I want to pick up some of these envoys as well. Let's go ahead and Unit Needs Orders. We will trade with the illustrious, beautiful city of... I say trade, but really what I'm doing is going to be stealing. Where the hell is uh, Samaria City? Here we go. Urhuk. We want to do tech stealing. Oh man, I also want to siphon funds. Ooh, it's hard to choose. We'll probably do a siphon. We'll probably do a couple of rounds of siphoning funds in here before we um, tech steal. But yeah, I want to tech steal. I want to get Eureka's to speed up the rate at which I acquire technologies. Germany is such a great civilization. I'm in a poison to this world. You are evil. Germany is a really great civilization, but also the um, the scientific victory is really easy in a lot of ways. It feels like the easiest victory type to win. The reach of your empire is as Jupiter, Jupiter's over the heavens. Well done. Thank you very much. I definitely think Germany is probably the best civilization for new players. Let's see, we're building the Angkor Wat. I only really built this because I can. It's like, there's no real... Like, wonders are basically irrelevant in my opinion. Um, when it comes to winning the game. I mean, sure, they're fun and, you know, you can do cool things with them. But, like, when it comes to, like, whether or not does this thing dictate if you win the game or not, it's basically irrelevant. We'll build the Venetian Arsenal just for the fun of it. Uh, I'm going to delete this encampment pin. I guess I don't need that anymore. And I guess I don't need the stable and barracks things in here either. But I will leave this to try and remind myself of the great engineer factory. Now, I'm going to be trading with Achen again because that's two food and five production, which is a really good amount of production for a city to start off with. And then similarly, we'll trade with Achen again. We're going to our next turns. Okay, so a trader over here. Bank. University. How long until we get this delightful Monsieur Albert Einstein? Okay, there's industrialization. We just hit the industrial era. Coal and plus one production from mines. Did we find coal? We did, and it's already improved. Hey, seven production on that. Oh my god, look at the production in some of these cities. Jesus H. Christ. We could build a factory in here, but really what we need is a few builders. So let's go ahead and pick up economics. Now, out of curiosity. You have to build a factory. So we'll finish this builder. We'll grab the factory. Could I purchase the factory? I could purchase the factory. Finish the builder. Go for the Ruhr Valley. Plus 20% production in the city and plus one production from each mine and quarry in the city. Not a whole lot of mines and quarries in the city. That's fine. You can't build it though, can you? Now, what is it? It needs to be adjacent to an industrial zone and an industrial zone adjacent to a... Or it needs to be adjacent to an industrial zone and adjacent to a river. This is the best place I can build it, so we'll put it down here. We'll go builder and then we'll finish the... Finish the trader in here, okay. Do I go ahead and build a factory in here? Sure. Go trade with Achen. We'll go to the next turn. 
like this is like usually in my games I never build wonders but Germany is just so strong that uh, it, it's actually entirely possible to just build wonders willy-nilly like I, I just built the Angkor Wat because I could because Germany just has so much production so much gold so many districts that uh, it's just like it's easy mode I've sent a trade delegation to you your delegation is most welcome So, I have my builder now. I don't know what I'm going to do with this builder, but I have a builder. I mean, I guess I'll throw down another few farms in here. Why not? Let's get the Ruhr Valley. Put the city on production focus. Production and food focus. We don't want to stop growing, do we? We lose one turn on the Ruhr Valley. But we'd actually grow during it, which might shave another turn off. We'll see. Yeah, we'll go for production and food focus. We'll go into our next turn. 29 turns in the Ruhr Valley. That's a pretty decent amount of time. Let's see here. The factories provide plus two production. You must not lose faith in humanity. So here's humanism. Don't really care about any of these things. That's fine. We really just care about the Enlightenment. Okay, we finished the bank in here. I think, do we pick up factories here for the extra great people points? I mean, they're kind of expensive to maintain. They're two gold each. I could just build more builders and fill out some of this territory. I mean, we don't need a factory in every single city. Man, I really miss the production overlapping thing. That was like one of my favorite things about the game and then they got rid of it. I wish there was a, I wish there was a way to bring it back. I wish, I wish they would let, let us bring back overlapping. That was a really fun mechanic and I really liked it. No, I mean... We only got to play with it for like a very brief amount of time. I wish we, I wish, I, you know... I mean, I mean, it's probably better for the game that it's gone, but I miss it. I miss it, I do. So campus has been completed in here. Um, factory? No, let's go ahead and pick up. We need to get our libraries and universities. Especially since they're going to be getting boosted soon. Chop here. Where the hell did that food go? There it is. Two turns to deal growth. Very nice. We'll go into our next turn. Ah, here we go. Right, so we'll drop the farm there. I'll tell you what we'll do. We're going to call this an end to this episode. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. Please remember to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Remember to leave a like if you want to directly support my channel. And remember to leave a comment if you want to give me your feedback. Other than that, though, I want to say I love you all very much. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.